Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Fabi and I've been teaching for several years now. And well, I have noticed that many of my students, if not all of them, have a lot of trouble uh, understanding and using phrasal verbs. And to be honest, I have had trouble using some of the phrasal verbs as well. Because you know, I'm a native English speaker from the United States of America, not from the UK, not from Australia, not from South Africa. So if you want to sound like a native, first ask yourself the next question, which is native from where? Native American, native Australian, native British, or what kind of native do you want to be? Okay, so, well, I think for me, the most important thing is that you communicate effectively, which means that you are understood by other people and that you understand other people effectively and efficiently. So I will, I actually gathered some information from a whole bunch of books that I have read during my entire teaching career, which is about 13 years or so. So I will start with uh, 20 easy phrasal verbs that I don't want you to just write down and practice just now. What I want you to do is really use them. I mean, if you have the opportunity, if you are using an English learning platform such as Cambly or Ingo or whatever the platform may be, then you can practice those phrasal verbs with a native speaker. Okay, so let's get rocking and rolling. Let's get started with the first phrasal verb. Okay, so the first phrasal verb I have for you today is look up. Well, to look up means to, means to search for and find a piece of information in a book or a database. So, for example, I looked up a word in the dictionary because I did not know the meaning. Yes, or I don't know the meaning of this word, so I will look it up. Or I looked you up on Instagram. Yes, so as you can see, it's a separable phrasal verb, which means that you can break it up and put the object in the middle. I will look it up. I will look the word up. I looked you up. Yes, so that is one of the meanings, which means like, again, once again, it means to search for and find a piece of information in a book or database. Or sometimes you can look a person up. So, it also has a different meaning, which means to be improving. Yes. So, for a situation to be improving. So, here's another example. Things seems to be looking up for now. Things are looking up for now. So, things are improving for now. And so, in this case, we do not separate the verb. We don't say, um, um, now looking things up, right? We just say looking up for now. Things aren't looking up for now. So do we do not separate it when we are talking about improving of a situation. All right, so let's get to the next phrasal verb. But before we move on to the next phrasal verb, remember that some phrasal verbs are separable and some are not. A separable phrasal verb is a transitive phrasal verb which allows an object to be placed between the verb and its particle or after the whole verb. So in this case, look up can be separable when you're looking for some information or unseparable when you're talking about improving. So remember, sometimes um, the object can be placed in between and sometimes it cannot. All right, but you need to learn this by heart. There's, there's no like rule that will tell you whether or not a phrasal verb is separable or unseparable. So well, anyway, the next phrasal verb is get through. So get through. This talks to you about connection, about a connection. For example, I try to call you, but the call did not get through. Or did your message get through? Did your email get through? Were you able to send it to have a connection? So get through. And this is an unseparable phrasal verb. So once again, did your message get through? Did your call get through? I try to call you, but I could not get through. So get through. Okay guys, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. 
I hope it wasn't that boring because this is the first time that I actually make a video without my face on it. So it's kind of strange for me. It kind of sounds like I'm talking to myself and I usually am because I look at myself, I see myself on camera all the time because I teach online. But well, just these two phrasal verbs for now and I will continue making some videos on different phrasal verbs and their different usages, whether they're separable or not. And I will make sure to get through to you. Now this is another usage or another use of get through. Get through to get through to someone means to um, make someone understand what you mean or how you feel. Did I get through to you? Yeah. Okay. So that's it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching again. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you didn't like the video, please give it a thumbs down and comment below why you didn't like this video. But if you did, also comment, say hi to me and make me feel like I'm not alone. Thank you so much again and um, see you next time. I, I promise the next video will be a lot better than this one, I hope. <laughs> see ya.